life on my own. But like it's so dark today. I've got my light on full blast. I've got the flipping blinds up all the way. Why is it so dark? Oh, well, you can still see me. This is the best you get in. I'm sorry. But hello, people. Hope you're doing good. Welcome to another review. I'm sorry that I'm not really enthusiastic today. My voice is really not 100%, but I can manage. Today, I'm reviewing a film that I'm really excited to talk about. I really highly suggest you see this film. Today, we're reviewing Priscilla. Priscilla is a film that came out later in the UK just last week. It's directed by Sofia Coppola. And it's a biopic about the relationship between Priscilla Presley and Elvis Presley. A relationship that was kind of doomed from the start. We get to see the behind the scenes of it. This was a film I was really excited to see when I saw the trailer. And the fact that it came out late in the UK really annoyed me. But I finally got to see it. Fun story, I wasn't actually going to see it. I was originally going to see The Beekeeper, the new Jason Statham film. But when I went on the screen in the cinema to buy the tickets, I saw Priscilla was there. I said, oh, oh, what time's it showing? It was actually five minutes away from the showing. I thought, let's see it then. <laughs> so you're getting a Priscilla review, not a Jason Statham Beekeeper review. I will see that as soon as I can, though. So for me, Priscilla was a really great biopic. I love that it showcases a relationship that was kind of doomed from the start. I like that we see a different side of Elvis that we're not really used to hearing about. And it kind of opened my eyes to how <laughs> destructive this relationship was for both people. And while the movie views Elvis as the villain of this story, you still kind of like him and care about him because if you watch the Elvis film that came out a few years ago, you know Colonel Tom, his manager, was a right knob. He kept giving away his money. And it shows how that situation affected him, along with Priscilla as well, and how he kind of took it out on his wife as well. So while you do not like his actions towards his wife you still kind of understand why he was put in that situation and why his behaviour is like that. And you really do feel sorry for him. But even though that I did feel sorry for him in this film, I can't get over the fact that I think he's a bit of a nonce now. The fact that Priscilla was 14 when he was 24 when they met. Kind of a bit creepy to me now. I know people say, oh, that's how it was back then. And that might be the case. But for me, in this time now, it kind of just doesn't really <laughs> come at me as a good sign, to be honest. But one small thing that I am happy about is that the movie doesn't waste time showing how Colonel Tom ruined his life because it's kind of already fresh in our memory from the Elvis film a few years ago. We know what happened and how Colonel Tom did all this to him. So I'm glad that they didn't waste time with that and they just did like small phone call scenes to show what was happening just to get your memory a little bit refreshed. But the main star here is Priscilla. She's a very likeable person. She just wants someone to understand her. She's very shy. She falls for Elvis in an instant but then again which other girl did in that time. <laughs> it was quite normal back then. She's very likeable, and I really liked the interactions between Elvis and Priscilla. They felt very real, they were written very well, really well, really well written dialogue, and the performances as well were absolutely amazing in this film. Kaylee Spaney, I'm sorry if I pronounced that last name wrong, but she was absolutely fantastic in this film, absolutely flawless. I also have to give props to the makeup artist for making her seal young at first and then eventually growing her up over time. I thought they did an absolutely amazing job with this film. Jacob Aordi, he impressed me in Saltburn very much. And he made me excited to see this film, him as Elvis. And I think he was great. I do think Austin Butler is a little bit better, only because I think he showed more emotions as the character. But that's not taking away the fact that Aordi was great in this film. He was amazing. And him and Spain, he had amazing chemistry. But this is also one of the best looking films I've seen in a while, I will say. I really like how all the bright colours really stand out. Give it a nice little late 50s, mid 60s look. It looked, it looked really nice. It looked very nice to look at. The production design was absolutely brilliant. It made the film look like it was set in the late 50s, mid 60s. It looked flawless. Absolutely brilliant. Felt you were right there in the times. The editing I thought was great as well. I like how we use like quick cuts as well when we're in like mad locations like Las Vegas casinos. Gives that bit of claustrophobia to the scene and excitement as well. And the music as well, I thought, was absolutely brilliant. Not only does it fit in with the time period, but it also fits in with the emotions of the scene as well. I thought the last song, of the last scene, was a perfect choice for this movie. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, the, the technical aspects of this film, I thought, were pretty flawless too. But the only thing that I can say is bad about this film is that I think it ended in the wrong place. I still feel there was a little bit more story to tell. I'm not saying the ending was bad at all, but... It kind of came out of nowhere, and I was still prepared to sit there for another 40 minutes. I was still ready to see what was going on after the credits. But unfortunately, we didn't get that. So, 
Now, that's the only complaint I have with this film. I, I still feel it could have gone on for a little bit longer. So in conclusion, Priscilla is not really a reaction to the Elvis film. It's more like an added layer showcasing the relationship, which the Elvis film didn't really dive into it much, which is kind of the worst thing about that movie. It's really an eye-opening movie that showcases how tragedy really affects both sides of the relationship. Even though it's really affecting one person, it still affects both people. And I like how it shows how it falls apart in the end. It's a relationship that was doomed from the start. It was very interesting, very eye-opening, very interesting too. I had a great time with this movie. I, I would highly suggest seeing Priscilla. If it's out in the US and it's on DVD or streaming now, you're going to have to watch it there, of course. But if you're in the UK or it's still in cinemas somewhere where you are, I'd highly suggest going to support it. Because I think this film was absolutely brilliant and it's an eye-opening film. The only complaint I had is I ended in a weird place. But other than that, I think this movie is pretty much perfect. And Priscilla, it's going to get a 9 out of 10 from me. Really enjoyed this film. Go and see it if you can. And guys, that is it for the end of this review. I hope you all enjoyed. I do have an idea for my next video. It's probably going to be a double review. A movie and a TV show review. I hope you all enjoyed that video if it comes out. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have seen Priscilla, let me know your thoughts. Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a good day. See you later.